Hey, you guys, it's your favorite girl in the world. Who else would it be other than me? I'm just saying, right? Miss me with it. The host and the owner of the Miss Me With It Talk radio show on the Miss Me With It Talk radio station, MMWI Network, MMWI Network Radio. My name is Miss Minetta Nelson, also known as Miss Mimi. And today we are talking all the places you can tour in Michigan. Yes. Historic homes that you can tour in Michigan. Metro Detroiters will soon have the opportunity to explore a selection of beautifully preserved homes rich in history. Over the next couple of weeks, home tours across the region will offer a unique chance to experience various architecture styles, neighborhoods, and landmarks showcasing the region's vibrant history in cities like Detroit, Birmingham, and Milford. Many of the feature homes boast distinctive architecture elements such as slate roofs, stained glass windows, pubic tiles, art deco bathrooms, and or ornate plasterwork. Some of the residents date to the 1920s, offering a glimpse into the past. The University District Home Tour, for example, will showcase six houses with style that include Turtle Revival and Colonial Revival. Some of these historic residents span over 4,500 4, square feet of living space and include more than five bedrooms, often spread across three floors plus a basement. Sound like a big ass house, okay? <laughs> we expect over 800 people to join us on September 14th for a beautiful day visiting homes that have been lovingly maintained and in some cases brought back from despair. Co-chair of the Uni Univers Detroit University District Home Tour 2024 said, Detroit's University District neighborhood is bordered by West Seven Mile Road, Livinois Avenue, McNichols Road, and Parkside Street. There are approximately 1,400 households in the neighborhood. One of the featured homes on the tour was purchased three years ago, three years ago, by its current owners, Dr. Drina Bellin, or excuse me, Bellin, and Darren Howell. Attracted to the neighborhood's cohesion, tranquility, and diversity, they saw great potential in the 1927 limestone and brick house. I want to turn it into a showplace, said Bellin. The home was advertised as move-in ready and appeared aesthetically pleasing, but hidden issues soon surfaced. The 57 window, the 57 window house repair, excuse me, required significant upgrades, including plumbing, electrical systems, a boiler, and a replacement of 27 windows. Today, the home stands as a true showpiece. The entrance features pubic tiles with the street address and a design replicating Detroit's city flag. Throughout the house, Bellin and Howe's love for Detroit history is evident, with walls adorned with memorabilia showcasing historic scenes and landmarks such as the recently revived train station, Burner's Plant, Bob Lobo, Detroit Institute of Arts, and Eastern Market. Their collection also includes books and magazines that highlight Detroit's history. When I started finding this artwork, I thought, let's try to be a part of the home tour, B Bellin said, adding to the committee, adding the committee visit and like the house. I didn't realize how much was involved, but she really liked the idea, How said. She was a natural talent for design and good eye for detail. The home includes five bedrooms, four full baths, and two half baths. It retains many original features like crown molding, lead, leaded glass windows, hardwood floors, wood burning fireplaces, and limestone flooring, all beautifully complemented by antique furnishing and a, a mix of modern and antique light fixtures. The primary suite features a sitting room, an updated bathroom, with a rain shower and a deep soap tub and skylights. And within the suite is a convenient washer dryer and mini fridge. 
For history lovers and anyone seeking inspiration for their own renovation product projects, this event and other upcoming tours are perfect opportunities for you guys to get a tour and see what you might like and what you might not like. So make sure you guys go check out the tours that they would they be, you know, touring the uh, city, touring these historic houses. The, they have them in Detroit, Birmingham, and Milf Milford. All right, y'all, that concludes the um, latest episode with your girl. I am your host, Miss Minetta Nelson, as always, and also known as Miss Mimi. But I always tell you guys, stay tuned because we have way much more to go. This right here is just the beginning. Stay tuned, you guys. <laughs>